Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create and post a design onto a website such as Redbubble. This is the way that I do it and there may be other methods but this is the way that I currently do it so I thought I would share as I know it is not easy starting out and not understanding or knowing how to navigate the world of design making. Here I've drawn up three designs of a Luna Moth, but I'm going to choose one for our video today. I work in Procreate, but any other digital programs such as Procreate, Sketchbook, Clip Studio Paint or others work for this method as well. The key really here is that you need a digital program and you'll see why in a minute. Once you have finished your design, the trick to not having a big white box, if you say put the design on a t-shirt, is a thing called transparent background. Now where to find this transparent background is you click on layers, you scroll all the way to the bottom and you see background color. You can click and unclick the box whether you want the background to be transparent or not. If you see the grid, you know that there is no background on, meaning it is a transparent background behind your design. Now you know about the transparent background, how do we take advantage of it for stickers? So the trick that I have for stickers is that you want to create a border around your design. So you can see that is what I'm doing here in blue. I then fill that shape in and then I adjust the color. Once you have your border bubble around your design, untick the background creating that transparent background that we talked about and now you are all ready to upload to Redbubble. Now we load up Redbubble, click our profile, tap add new work and it will ask us to upload our design. Now we can see this particular design is rather small as that is due to the canvas size I was using. And I was using a particular size that is best for YouTube, but not for products. You can see we can move this design around and there are other adjusters on the right. But most importantly, if we choose a dark t-shirt, we can see that the transparent background has worked. In comparison this is what it looks like without that little bubble that we made around it so you can see that you can just see the design on the t-shirt if you have any other red bubble related questions pop them down below and don't forget to like and share this video to all of your buddies that are starting out on red bubble as well if you're interested in more procreate tutorials I have a playlist you can click on the left or YouTube thinks you'll love the video on the right. Have a great day, guys. See you next time.